Hello and good evening. Hi, this is Tonya from Tiggies, Southampton East, and we are going to be reading This and That by Julie Sykes and Tanya Lynch. So are we all ready? Down on the farm, Cat woke early. It was a special day she had work to do. Look, there she is. There's Cat, Kesia. And it's a lovely, beautiful day. Can you see that? A lovely day it is there. Horse was grazing in the field when Cat jumped onto the fence. Look, there she is. She's jumping on the fence. Hello, horse, said Cat. May I borrow your stable? Horse didn't use his stable in the summer because he liked to sleep outside because it's lovely and warm. Yes, he neighed. Nay! What will you use it for? This and that, purred Cat. <laughs> Pig was rolling in the sty when Cat leapt onto the wall. Hello, pig, said Cat. May I have some straw? The farmer just had just made a pig's bed. The straw was clean and fresh and there was plenty of it. Help yourself, grunted pig. What's it for? This and that, purred Cat. Hmm, what did she say? Goat was playing in the field when Cat hopped onto the gate and meowed. Hello, goat, said Cat. May I have some hay? Goat never ate hay in the summer one, when the grass was green and lush. If you want, he cried, whatever do you want it for? This and that, purred Cat. Sheep was dozing under a leafy tree, when Cat climbed onto a branch. Hello, sheep! Bah! said Cat. May I have some of your soft wool? Sheep had a thick coat, and she had plenty to spare. Of course you may, she bleated. What are you going to do with it? This and that, purred Cat. Hen was scratching for grain when Cat leapt on top of the hen's house. Hello, Hen, said Cat. May I have a few of your feathers? Hen stopped scratching and cocked her head curiously. You may, she clucked. But whatever for? This and that, purred Cat. Cow was drinking from the stream when Cat joined her on the bank. Hello, cow, said Cat. May I have a few of your hairs for my tail? Cow had a long tail with hairy tips for swatting the flies. She did indeed, look, there is. Yes, she mooed. Moo! What are you going to do with them? This and that, said Cat. Donkey was licking for thistles when Cat jumped onto his back. Hello, Donkey, said Cat. May I borrow that lovely purple ribbon from your hat? Donkey wore a hat to keep the sun out of his eyes. It was decorated with a bright purple ribbon round the brim. If you're careful with it, he said, what do you want it for? This and that, purred Cat. The animals thought Cat was behaving strangely. What does she want with all our things, clucked Hen. Perhaps she's moving house, mooed Cow. Moo, no, grunted Pig. Cats don't like moving. Let's follow her, brayed Donkey. he -ah! The animals all hid in the yard. And when Cat appeared, they tiptoed after her. What did they find? Cat went inside the stable and the animals followed silently behind. In one corner they saw, what do you think they saw? Shall we look and see? Let's see what they saw. Two little kittens! <laughs> they were inside a nest made with hay and straw. It was lined with sheep wool, hair from cow's tail and feathers from hen. It was decorated with donkey's pretty purple ribbon. What a lovely surprise, nay horse. They're beautiful, said goat. So that's what you needed our things for, exclaimed sheep. Leaning over the huge nest, donkey asked, what are they called? Cat sighed. I don't know. I can't decide. What do you think? The animals looked at each other. Then together they neighed and grunted and bleated and clucked and hee hawed and mooed. We know. This 
and that <laughs> i hope you enjoyed that everybody look forward to reading some more stories with you or doing some crafts very very soon and for now it's goodbye from me we will see you very very soon take care bye